most important difference is the speed, the, the creativity. Editing is a combination of technical and creative. Hindi pwedeng matapos sa isang pelikula nang walang editing. We are coming up with better systems. People are more convinced. It's basically editing with computers. There is a lot of benefit for doing it digitally. Digital editing is a lot more fun. It is definitely easier. Everything is being done sa digital editing. From television, to films, even commercials and everything. It's just a matter of learning to adapt to the tool. The continuing evolution of editing is a reality. Post-production hasn't stopped developing digital tools to satisfy the viewer's craving for new and exciting programs and the artist's demand for more efficient and powerful tools. In the United States, Hollywood films have gone from simple cuts to extraordinary effects. Examples could be talking animals, Please. digital mummy warriors, and enchanting characters. Here in the Philippines, films and videos likewise is undergoing a huge transition from analog to digital to cope with the changing times. Slowly, the country opens its doors to binary digits. I think that the, um, that the Philippines is slowly but surely shifting to digital and it has been making progress. Yeah? In the late 1800s, there were no transitions and effects involved yet in filmmaking. Most of the earliest moving images were non-fictional, unedited, simple documentary views of ordinary slices of life until in 1905, when many techniques of cinematography and film editing started to progress. A pioneer in science fiction work, French magician Georges Méliès introduced the idea of trick photography, the salts, magical superimposition, slow motion, and fade outs. In 1903, Camera operator and director Edwin Porter produced a one-reel, 14-scene and 10-minute long movie titled The Great Train Robbery, the first narrative film of the storyline, the first film shot out of chronological sequence, and the first real motion picture smash hit. Here in the Philippines, it was in 1919 when Husena Tomuseno directed and edited the first Filipino feature film titled Balagang Buki. It was not until 1927 that 24 frames per second became an international standard for films. The first practical videotape recorder was introduced by Ampex in 1956. Videotape editing initially relied on cut-to-cut -cut techniques. Re-recording segments to a new master tape soon became practical, giving birth to the video post-production industry. Through the years, technology is moving so fast that now it's cheaper, it's faster, the improvements are endless. Video formats also went through a process of continuous evolution, from Betamax to VHS or Video Home System, which is the most popular consumer video format, to Video Compact Discs or VCDs, to the latest today, which is the Digital Video Discs or DVDs. For broadcast, Humatic tapes are widely used until the mid-80s. The spread of Petacam formats, which is now the most common broadcast quality video format. For film, 35 and 16mm are still being used in both the local and international arenas. Uh, ang conventional kasi ito eh, yung lumang, lumang editing. There are things na kailangan mo ito, anong conventional, na hindi kaya na. It's a sentimental thing, you know, because you can hold the film, you can smell it. Ang Mubiola is, uh, doon kami nag edit Doon talaga nag edit ang editor. Rap cut up to the final. With current standards, many of the procedures of traditional or conventional film post-production might be considered time-consuming and labor-intensive. 
Kumbaga sa ngayon ang hawak mo sa magnetic dalawa. Dati pag nag-edit ka ang hawak mo uh, isa lang. Pero pag nag-edit ka ng negative, uh, anim yun. Anim. Yung process, yung working print, yung negative, yung sound, yung dialogue, uh, dialogue track, music track, tsaka effects track. Yung 35mm na magnetic. If you're not an organized person, you can use everything. In non-linear editing, Footage is cut and taped are just digitized or captured into the computer's external hard drive. By digitizing, we mean encoding images or sound in a format that may be processed by a computer. After capturing, you put them basically on a timeline. That's where you do, uh, first of all, an offline editing just to make a rough cut-to-cut -cut of the good footages. From there, you go online, that's putting on the uh, specific cut points transition points, then you render. In linear editing, instead of digitizing, the user must navigate forward or backward to reach a frame. And because you cannot jump from one frame to the other, the term linear is given to this process, referring to one line. Sa linear editing, may tinatawa na cut to cut, saka merong AB roll editing. Yung cut to cut, ang involved doon, dalawang masin lang, isang player, isang recorder. Ang linear editing, limited na ngayon, no? kasi na meron ng mga linear. Another process of linear editing is the AB roll editing, which uses two or more players and one recorder to provide effects. An example is the flip and tumble. That is the only thing we could do to make the video flip and tumble. And at that time, if you were able to use that, sikat ka. Medyo advanced na rin ang linear editing ngayon kasi meron na siyang pang effects na computer-based doon. Pero limited siya kasi pag nag-layer ka ng more than 2 or 3, may generation loss ka na Generation loss happens when one analog video tape is copied to another. This is most apparent in less expensive video formats. But because of DV's 525 lines of resolution, this is theoretically absent from digital video editing. As opposed to conventional editing, like composing using a typewriter or a, or a ball pen, where every time you make a revision, you just start all over again. Retype all over again. Some people might think it is harder to do the conventional way, the, the old analog system. It is only hard in the sense, no? It's very tedious. Everything that I just mentioned takes a lot of time and it's very laborious. Yung takbo nung, nung paglalagay ng effects, hanggang sa magmix, mix paglalagay ng music, hindi na nila nakikita yun. Dadating lang sa kanila, finished product eh. Hindi ka mukha rito sa editing na hindi digital, lahat ng stage ng pelikula ay nakikita mo. Pati pagsising, makikita mo. When you go digital, the solve is just, you know, just one of those effects that you could do. In two seconds, you have a dissolve. That, that for me is a breakthrough. Pagdating sa conventional editing, Sa dissolve, madali yan. Mamarkahan mo lang. At the end of the day, uh, what gives you the, a better edit, a more creative edit? I think now, especially now, like most of the directors that already work uh, using the, digit, um, the digital system, they can't go back anymore. You cannot not know history. So, but of course, again, the focus is uh, on the new technologies. Digital editing is when you are able to convert analog signals into digital and use it for editing. The term digital actually comes from the Latin word digitus, which means fingers and toes. The first digital effects are finger shadow puppets, and the first digital compression is a squeezed finger or toe. Digital editing comes with a peripheral called the firewire, which has transformed many cable wires to one. This appeared commercially in 1996. With it, there is no loss of data when multiple devices process the video information. The great advantage of working digitally is that there are hardly any compromises with the edit. Initially, we were working with a PC platform since most of our teachers are uh, specialized in uh, PCs. A year after, we were able to put up a lab of uh, GeForce. 
our students are exposing both platforms so that uh, if and when they want to work on any platform, they, they should be knowledgeable. Well, the Mac was really designed as a you know, graphic workstation. The PC also um, has its own strength. It was an office workstation. Today, there are only two conventional post-production companies for film, LVN and Sanfagita Studios, and three digital editing studios, Roadrunner Network, Cinema Concept, and DigiLink. For videos, the number of post-production companies are constantly growing. One thing, um, the equipment we use, number two, the field training people. I think Daniel is one of the schools that is already starting it. Multimedia is a degree, Bachelor of Arts, which uh, teaches several tracks in uh, video, non-linear editing, 3D animation, 3D animation, uh, and web design applications. It's nice because it has empowered even students who maybe not too creative, but knowing how to use the computer enables them to uh, shine in, in, uh, in ways that sometimes you can't really imagine. It is important to learn about digital editing because they will use it. Finding more people who will be competent enough to edit for TV shows, for documentaries. Formal education of video editing was pioneered by College of St. Benilde in 1999. But the real pioneer here in the Philippines for nonlinear editing for film is Rotor Network Incorporated, which emerged from three companies, VideoPost, AudioPost, and PrePost. We brought in the, the Avid, the, um, at that time the Avid Media Composer, to do um, digital editing for commercials. I think it's 1992. Uh, we did the first full-length feature film digitally outside of um, the United States and Australia. We were the very first in Asia. The first film that we did was um, Saan Toman Naroon for um, uh, Reina Films. Today, Rodeo Network is using Avid Film Composer. The difference of the software from the others is that it brings the film back to 24 frames per second. Since video is 29.97 frames per second, when a film is transferred to video for editing, it becomes 29.97 frames per second too and Roadrunner Network made sure they do not encounter this. Two of the most common softwares used in the Philippines are Adobe Premiere and Media 100, which is mostly used for broadcast. According to Tony Feldman in his book titled An Introduction to Digital Media, seeing digitization as evolution encourages us to believe we can look ahead, even guide and influence the pace and direction of its impact on our lives. Evolution is predictable and is therefore worth analyzing. So if we agree that we are presiding over digital revolution, we can at least take a stab at understanding where it is taking us and how it might get there. But the bottom line, it, it will be the creativity and the understanding of how these machines can be used. Kailangan matutunan niyo yung conventional and digital editing. Kailangan pareho. It has a vital part of filmmaking. After doing all these things, magic, no? It's a great help for the director, if you want to be director someday, to know how the uh, basics of about the basics of editing. Ten years from now, I I re I I really think that majority of the of the industry will really be using digital editing. Definitely, digital film editing is is the way to go. Digital is the way to go. We have to enjoy it, we have to learn it, and we have to um, appreciate what it can do. Just try to learn it. Just try to learn it slowly, and they will, they will like it.